What's up everybody? Happy 4th of July and everything. I'm going to do a video on the older knives we had back in the Revolution War and the War of Independence. And even the war now in Lanamo. That's the Bowie knife. The Bowie knife, my friends. Yes, yes, yes. Crocodile knees hit that at night. That's nice. Anyway, as you see, that's a nice thick blade, 11 inches all together. Six inch blade right here. Here, the handle is 11 inches all together. Six inch blade. Ozark Trail Bowie Knife. You got different kinds of Bowie Knives. You got the small Bowie Knives. That's what you call a knife right there. And everything. To the big, monster, beefy knives of old days. That's one foot long knife. From the point to the handle, a foot long. You said I thought a sword size knife, buddy. <laughs> but blade itself. The blade itself is about, pretty, from the point to the handle, hilt, is about 9 inches. But from the point to the butt, about 1 foot. Almost 2 foot knife. You don't want to say that's a bowie knife. You can say that's a sword, my friend. But still, I like this bowie knife. Surgical blade part there. Carbon steel. Make sure. You don't want no bowie knife that has partial tank. You want a full knife with a full whole tank. But partial tanks don't hold up very well. And you always want a knife in sheath, leather, not polyester carbon. Nylon sheath. And everything. Now we're talking about big beefy knife. That's Big beef bowie knife. You can see I got paracord wrapped right around a hammer because nylon sheaths are sorry. The raccoon shit right here, you see, it's sorry as hell. This is my first bowie knife I ever got. I got this back in 2012. It's called a sinful rattlesnake. As you can see, it's a big beefy blade. Razor sharp, just in case I want to. Mm. Shave with it in the morning. Well, I just want to shave somebody else. Hell, I might just want to go ahead and gut me a wild hog. I know a hog in the bedroom right now, I want to, but nah, I ain't going to do it. But we are. This is what we used when we were facing against the Mexicans and the animal. David Crockett had one, and David Booit. Jim Boone. Named this stuff as the Bowie Knife his brother made. See, there are different qualities of the Bowie Knives back then. Today and all. But the main Bowie Knife that was used mainly back then was a straight drop point blade. Not this one that I showed you before, or not this big beefy monster right here. I mean, this is a big beefy blade. It's a real beefy, beefy blade. Yeah. But, I like this blade and everything. I killed two snakes with this before. Pulled this out on somebody one time being stupid and everything. I'm just that kind of country boy. You gonna pull a knife out on somebody, you better learn how to use it. Seriously, don't pull a blade on somebody, you can't use it. We're just asking for trouble. But this is a big beefy blade. I mean, this is a monster, monster blade. You walk around with one of these on your stores, you will have a lot of cops on your ass, especially out in a public place. Oh, yeah. You just pull this bad boy out. And your point is... Anyway. This is 4th of July. I know. 
our Independence Day, our month to shine. And there, that's a Bowie knife. A small Bowie knife. It's about three inches. In state law, you can carry blades three inches. But from the blade to the handle, it's total seven inches. Did she handle has seven inches blade? Ha! That's what she said last night. Woo! Oh boy. Anyway, man, you got your different kinds of blowy knives. Blowy. My <laughs> excuse my French for saying that. I'm just putting out that blowy. Bowie knives. The big old knives, big guys we like to use. As you can see, this is a chopper. See how you got that Kukri handle like design, like a pop, pop. You can just chop and stab and slice any damn stuff you want. Got the little guard here, so you just want to do that little fencing, a little shaving. Just want to get a little shave. You never know, you might want to shave yourself, shave somebody else. Hell. You don't know what you might want to do with one of these bad boys. This is my, this is my baby. I call this one Rosie. I pull her out, you better listen. And everything. You got your small bowie knives, you got your big bowie knives that are almost a foot long. From point to handle. And all, you got different kind of bowie knives with different kind of styles. Bowie knives were the go-to knives for men when they are a man. Nowadays, it's Oh, you defending my honor. Oh, I want to gang up on you. I can't whip your ass in one-on-one -on -one fight. I gotta shoot you. I can't fight you hand-to-hand. -hand. Like a man, I gotta shoot you like a little wuss. It's, it's pathetic. I mean, seriously. Yes, we got hurt from the virus. But come on. This is the United States. Land of the free. Home of the brave. Home of the freaking bald eagle, for Christ's sakes. This is our day to shine. No. Nowadays, as you look at it from generation to generation, from the freaking 19, 1800 all to now, the generation of man who carry bowie knives and became man to man had become more sissified, more girly like. I mean, seriously. Was I born in the wrong? I was born in the 90s. And I was still the era. If we wrong, we didn't like each other, we just beat the shit out of each other. To the point we couldn't stand no more, then we became friends. But now, a motherfucker don't want to take an ass beating. He wants to get his friends involved, he wants to shoot you. I mean, seriously. Anyway, off topic. Back to the damn topic I'm trying to say here. Bowie knives. Big man blades. Even women like to wear Bowie knives back then. i seen some girls carry one of these up to one of these. I don't know where they put them at, but I know girls are good friends, are good country girls. They want city girls, but not a country girls. Carry one of these. My opinion, this is the kind of bowie knife you want outdoors. A good pocket knife's okay if you want, but you want to pull out big mama jama blade. Especially if you got a big ass Bear, you want to like, okay, I'll fight your tooth and nail. Let's go at it. Or you just want to pull this out and give it a little snot nose. Blue coat, a little skier. If you don't know what blue coat means, that means Yankee. That's just a certain term we sat to use down for Yankees. Blue coats, red coats, red boots. Excuse me, I've been watching um, Outlaw Josie Wells on my computer today. Okay? And everything. This is the 4th of July. My one of my two favorite holidays. That and hunting. And everything. I'm just, I'm showing you all the history. This is the Bowie knife. Boom. That's a foot long. Boom, boom, almost. What's this? If I'm not correct, let me go ahead and get my old tape measure out and measure this big long piece of hard steel. <laughs> Hope she says last night. Ah! I was right. About almost two foot long. She likes it like that. Anyway, can't do nothing wrong with it. I 
want to wish y'all all a happy, safe Independence Day. I'm going to leave y'all with this image of a nice, big, fat bird. Enjoy.